These are truly strange times indeed. First a global pandemic, now this. A recipe for seduction. Lifetime Channel's steamy, custom-branded mini-movie starring Mario Lopez as a rather sexy and buff Colonel Sanders premiered on the network on December 13, 2020. The film tells the story of a wealthy young heiress who must choose between an affluent yet maniacal suitor selected by her mother or Sanders, who just happens to be their new house chef. Her mother explains to her if she doesn't marry Billy, then the bank is going to repossess their mansion and they'll lose their wealth. It seems the patriarch of the family left very little behind for his family. Will she choose love or money? You might be wondering why is KFC teaming up with Lifetime Channel to produce a soap opera-esque production about their iconic founder. Your guess is as good as mine. But not everyone is amused by this truly bizarre project. You also have to really question how hard up for money Mario Lopez must be to sign on to a production like this. But honestly, he can't be that desperate. A quick search for his net worth shows he's worth approximately $25 million, with an annual salary of around $6 million. So maybe Yum Brands, KFC's parent company, gave him an offer he couldn't refuse, like a lifetime supply of fried chicken. Who knows? Granted, you can't exactly call the film a motion picture masterpiece. It clearly doesn't take itself very seriously. Between the convoluted plotline or tongue-in-cheek dialogue, it's easier to declare a recipe for seduction some kind of farcical parody than a legitimate offering. What you see is what you get. Recipe is a bucket full of drama, complete with 11 herbs and spices. While the rest of the world is unlikely to take it very seriously, there is one person in particular that is absolutely livid about the film. Self-described KFC heiress Kayla Methven is furious. She might only be a self-proclaimed KFC heiress, as she's completely unrelated to the colonel himself, but 29-year-old Kayla Methven is infuriated that the fast food chain would team up with Lifetime to make a film she has called degrading and vulgar. The lingerie designer and fashionista's maternal grandfather, Stanley Methven, founded a company called Rainbow Chicken Unlimited in South Africa that at one point supplied roughly 90% of KFC's chicken supply. The Methven family's net worth skyrocketed thanks to KFC. Recent estimates place their total wealth around $600 million. Methven has lamented the fact that since the announcement was first made that KFC and Lifetime were teaming up to produce the mini-movie, she and her personal business and associates have been inundated with questions about whether the film's cheesy soap opera storyline is somehow based upon her affluent family. Methven described her experience to Fox News. She said she woke up and went downstairs in her building to find a bunch of people lined up asking her whether the film was about her grandmother or mother. A recipe for seduction premiered on the Lifetime Network a couple weeks ago, and although KFC isn't explicitly mentioned in the film by name, anyone familiar with the fast food brand will certainly realize the movie is about the chain's founder, Colonel Harlan Sanders. Methven further claims that when KFC approached her grandfather's company back in the 70s, they were desperate to get out of a bind. They didn't have any food at the time and needed to come up with a plan to re-up their supply ASAP. So in her eyes, the story depicted in the film couldn't be further from the truth. The chicken heiress says she's absolutely embarrassed that KFC and Lifetime would link up to make a film that denigrates a family-oriented franchise her family helped turn into a global phenomenon, with a cheap movie about some guy, quote, whoring himself out to a rich family, as she put it. She's disappointed in Lopez. Methven also expressed surprise that Lopez had agreed to play a sexy Sanders in the film. The two have known each other and occasionally attend each other's business functions. The last time she saw him was back in January at an event that celebrated the launch of their Marie Westwood magazine covers. He barely spoke to me, Methven explained, indicating he felt some level of guilt for his involvement with the film. He came in, took one photo, and ran out, she recalled. She further speculated he was already making the movie at the time and knew full well what he was doing was ethically wrong. Meth then admits that overall the film is in fact very cute and cheesy, but her main complaint is that the overall tone of the movie is degrading. She particularly takes offense to the final scene, where the mother is depicted as being institutionalized in some kind of asylum. Kayla's own mother, Lisa Methven, committed suicide when the young heiress was just 14 years old. As such, she firmly feels there are certain facets of the film that her family would find vulgar and offensive and would never have approved of. She did, however, praise the film for one thing. She thought the soap opera vibes were very clear. She found the theme humorous and relatable. Methven compared the plot to her mother's side of the family, full of lies, scandal, and money. Everyone in my family married into wealthy families, she added. Everyone except for me. 
Methven prides herself for taking a different life path than the rest of her family. She instead decided to pave her own way to independence by becoming an entrepreneur and developing her own brand. She didn't want to just ride on the coattails of her grandfather's success. If she was going to be wealthy and respected, she wanted to earn those things on her own. She ultimately wants people to respect her as a fashion designer. She doesn't want her name to be connected to, in any way, shape, or form, a recipe for seduction. I find this completely inappropriate and so shameful, she lamented. In a public statement about the film, she made it clear she had no part in the production and issued a blanket apology to all those who might be hurt by seeing KFC depicted in such a hurtful way. But it brings up the question, is Methven overreacting a bit? Maybe she's missing the point. Anyone who's seen a recipe for seduction will surely realize it's a parody. Nobody is watching it thinking it's some kind of historical piece. For one thing, Colonel Sanders certainly never communicated with anyone via text message. Whoever the colonel is supposed to be is obviously not intended to be an exact representation of the historical figure. Hey, by the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Tap the bell icon to turn on notifications to keep up with all our latest content. And make sure you keep watching to find out why some viewers can't get enough of a recipe for seduction. Lifetime and KFC's Bizarre Union When the two companies publicly announced their collaboration on the short film on December 7th, it's a bit of an understatement to say people were pretty confused. Lopez plays a very contemporary KFC king with his throbbing biceps and six-pack. He looks totally different than the look people typically associate with KFC's founder. While the real colonel was known for his snow-white hair, bow tie, and glasses, Lopez sports salt and pepper hair and a perfectly groomed goatee. At least he got the glasses right. The colonel finds himself caught in the middle of a suspenseful romantic triangle with the wealthy heiress Jessica, played by Justine Alpert, and her suitor Billy, played by Chad Dorick, much to the dismay and disdain of her desperate mother, played by Tessa Monroe, who's been trying her hardest to arrange the marriage between her daughter and the rich suitor for quite some time in hopes that the union will solve her financial woes. I think I'm falling for the new cook, Jessica tells her friend at the beginning of the film's trailer. Later on, she tells her mother he has a recipe that is sure to change the world. The trailer ends with Jessica's irate suitor sharpening a blade in the kitchen with the warning that he'll, quote, take care of this. Folks on social media were bewildered by the over-the-top, ridiculous mini-movie concept. Some labeled it crazy, while others refused to even accept it was real. Those who appreciated the tongue-in-cheek humor of the concept, however, found it more intriguing. Unnecessary or just what we all needed? 2020 is a year that'll make it into the history books despite how badly some would like to forget it. To put it mildly, it was a dumpster fire. But maybe, just maybe, a recipe for seduction is exactly what we all needed to escape the reality of the uncomfortable world we're living in. Who would have ever expected Mario Lopez to play Colonel Sanders in a romantic film? That's bonkers if you think about it. But here we are, and the film is definitely a reality. At this point, who isn't tired of hearing about COVID or politics every time they turn on their TVs, radios, or check their feeds? We all need a little break. Maybe Kayla Methven is way off in her assessment of the film. Corny? Yes. Controversial? Hardly. A recipe for seduction is 16 minutes long, so it won't take you long to get through it. But you honestly won't regret giving it a shot. Chances are you'll be laughing yourself to tears. You can watch the mini-movie on Lifetime's YouTube channel. Anyway, we'd love to hear from you. Have you seen it? What did you think? Do you think it's as bad as Kayla Methven says it is, or do you find it as hilarious as we do? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you show us support by giving this video a like and subscribing to our channel. Tap the bell icon while you're at it to turn on notifications.